Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes place here in Pamplona, Spain. You're probably wondering why this fence is here. Well, this is a town that's famous for its annual bull running festival. This is the street where the bulls come running. This is the fence where the people are watching and being chased by the bulls right through the center of town and city hall. But we're here in Pamplona for a different reason, far more environmental one to find out how a company located in this beautiful agricultural nature preserve along the Argo River is helping contribute to a circular economy by using byproducts from the petroleum refining industry to make a product that ultimately enables one of the largest recycling efforts in the world, the recycling of steel. Steel making can be an incredibly energy intensive process, but fortunately the electric arc furnace approach to steel making can play a critical role in helping the steel industry reduce its impact on the environment. Electric arc furnaces generate dramatically fewer greenhouse gas emissions compared to traditional methods of steel making. In addition, EAFs produce steel from scrap metal that can be endlessly recycled. Mainly to produce steel in an EAF, we need electrodes, current, and, and swab. So we are using recycled material to produce new steel. At the end, our steel is 100% recyclable. But one of the most important elements needed by an electric arc furnace in order to, well, melt steel is giant cylinders weighing up to two metric tons each and able to withstand temperatures up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's more than half as hot as the temperature on the surface of the sun. Those giant cylinders are graphite electrodes produced by a company called Graftech International in several different countries, including here in Pamplona, Spain. Graftech manufactures graphite electrodes and graphite electrodes are the key element of electric arc furnace steel making. So as of today, synthetic graphite electrodes are the only material that is electrically conductive and essentially resilient enough to withstand these extremely high temperatures, this extreme temperature gradient and the mechanical stresses in an electric arc furnace. 120 some years ago, we invented the electrode. So we were the pioneers in this technology. So if the electrical furnaces exist, are because the electrodes exist. And electrodes exist because we were pioneers inventing this product. The graphite electrodes is uh, the only way we have to produce our steel. We are becoming very green. We are trying to, to produce green steel the most as we can. And the key raw material that Graftech uses to produce its graphite electrodes petroleum needle coke, made from a byproduct of the oil refining business and stored in these towering silos that Graftech gets from its facility in Sea Drift, Texas. We are part of a circular economy by utilizing the decant oil from the oil refinery process and creating petroleum needle coke. Graftech's environmental initiatives are having a huge impact on our planet, including furnace heat recovery systems to reduce natural gas consumption, dust collection systems to remove emissions, and Graftech is exploring the opportunity to move from natural gas to hydrogen in the coming years. For Graftech, environmental and sustainability concerns are absolutely central to everything we do. Plus, Graftech can even boast introducing the first of its kind facility in this entire region for treating and recycling water. This is the first water treatment plant that it was installed in the Navarra province. In the whole area? In the whole area, in the whole province, yes. What we are doing with this water is, I mean, we are taking water for the, from the river, then we use this water to cool down the equipment, 
and we capture all the rainwater and storm water, we process and then we are part of this water is going back to the river cleaner than we were taking before from the from the river. So the earth is very important to graft it. I would say yes, we do not have just one earth and we have to keep it. Yes. It's all about preserving our environment. Clean air, clean water, and steel that can be recycled again and again as manufacturers search for innovative ways to conserve our natural resources. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.